So publishing's had a good year. I mean, we've got revenues around about six billion pounds, which is very, very good considering uh, there are challenging uh, business environments in terms of the wider economy. Uh, we've seen some really good growth areas um, for some parts of the industry, but also some, some other aspects of the industry are finding things more difficult at the moment. So um, the, the key, I think, is to look at longer term trends. And over the last five years, we're up about 20% overall. So last year we saw a small decrease in terms of physical sales and a slight increase in digital sales. But overall, physical books are still the dominant player in, in the marketplace, still taking up a vast majority of where revenues are coming from. So uh, there's a very optimistic picture in certain parts of the um, book market. We've seen non-fiction continuing to uh, be a very dominant part of um, uh, trade publishing, consumer publishing. Uh, children's again had a good year, which we, we were obviously very pleased about because it's really important that we continue to engage and uh, new readers um, uh, at all levels. Uh, and then uh, academic journals again had a good year, and that's very much driven by a uh, digital, digitally focused uh, uh, product, which is selling uh, globally all around the world very well. We're very, very positive. We've had, uh, over the last three years, uh, a very, very good picture for publishing. Obviously, we're concerned about any changes that happen uh, in terms of our trading um, uh, relationships around the world, uh, because the industry is reliant upon those, upon those links, and we're watching carefully about what happens on that. But uh, within our industry, we remain very optimistic about the prospects. We continue to have the right mix of talent, creativity, new ideas, new products to make sure we continue to succeed.